All right, guys, welcome to the first podcast. With Today I've got many, many guests, your favorite YouTubers. Um, I'm just going to introduce you guys because you guys will stuff this up. We've got Mr. Mate, we've got Dubar Total War, Surreal Beliefs, Snowhood, and Game Dooster. Have I forgotten anyone? I don't I think, think so. I think you've covered everyone. I think I've covered everyone, so just say hello, guys. Hello. 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 <laughs> Now, How you doing? I'm just going to say this, we have been trying to do this, and we've had a few technical problems, but uh, hopefully this will work out fine. Anyway, let's, we, sure. we, we're getting straight um, into the questions that you've given us. Um, start off with um, a favourite one, actually. What would you do in a zombie apocalypse? Where would you go, what would you do, and how long would you survive? So, Should I pass this? You want to start? Alright. Um, I reckon I'm, I'm one of the two who believes that you got to just be, like, um, what's the go with... with, with um, Curse words on this. You what? You care? No, I don't give a shit. Anyway, well, I personally think you got to be just like fucking ruthless, eh? Um, <laughs> I know a lot of, lot of, I know most people I speak. To, I mean, we had this conversation ages ago. Me, you, um, Snow, and Hef. Yeah, you said um, you said you you would kill me. To stop, to, yeah, if the zombies think, were chasing, you would shoot me so they'll eat me while yeah. you run off. Too much, too much <laughs> walking dead like for you. Thing. Too much walking dead for you. <laughs> That's personally how I think of it. I think I'm, I'm less of a person who would be like, I mean, I understand strength in numbers, but in the case of which, like me and Snow were running away, and I had to get get away, I would kneecap him and then <laughs> leg it. But, You're a monster. But in that, it's, it's it's just like like you need, at the end of the day, it's you needing to survive. Like so, this works I, out I, well because after the first night, the first day, I would have figured this would have been the case, right? So the <laughs> woken up. And Marcus would have woken up and smelled barbecue and been like, oh man, this smells good, I'm hungry. And then he would have realized I was eating his leg. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> That's how right. the zombie apocalypse would have gone, right? The first, the first day. <laughs> the first day. I would head to America to find snow. That would be my first priority. <laughs> Alright, okay, that's Marcus, All right? Uh, <laughs> Australian today, alright? Double. All right. What about you, man? What would you do? I wouldn't travel too far, I'd just go straight down to the garage, unlock the gun safe, and I'll sit there. <laughs> Can one zombie... Because you just, you just live, off your, live off your ammunition. And die in a week because you don't have enough water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Do a bear grills, man. Alright, who's next? That's not going to work well, out too well. I live in the deep south of the US, so I mean, probably what I would need is not money, but a lot of beer, and I can trade beer, and I'm not even kidding. <laughs> My street alone is so well armed. I don't know what would live. I I think I would have more more to fear from from being shot by uh, friends. I mean, there's a lot of guns here, so I don't feel much threat from the undead. So. Being shot by a monster. That means nothing. <laughs> That's great. Zombie apocalypse? Nah, that means nothing. My neighbors, neighbor apocalypse. That's <laughs> she called it. Watch out for those motherfuckers, man. <laughs> Yo, but what what happens when your what happens when your neighbors become zombies and then they have all the guns? What are you well, gonna do then? That's good. Most of them are overweight, so I mean, I would just kind of <laughs> run a bit, you know. <laughs> it's the number one rule in the zombie apocalypse: cardio. All right. Yeah. That's it. Yep. Yeah. What if they learn to use the guns? What if they learn? That's it. That's the question. Right. Then if you they find learn a lot to use of guns... LSD. <laughs> <laughs> if the zombies are using guns, that's when you just tell them you won. All right, you can. No, you won. Yeah. All right, yeah, that's it. <laughs> you don't have to be angry anymore. All right. <laughs> that's very interesting. All right. All right, who's next? Who, who hasn't done it? Gamer dude says zombies. So, all right. So what I'll do is, um, I've got a four by four, so <laughs> I'll drive over to like the biggest convenience store that I can find, and like steal all the beans and all the protein that's in cans, Smart. as much bottled water as I could, and then I drive by to like the tallest building I see and go up there on the roof, or maybe like not the roof, but you know, the, the highest floor, and then just camp out and hope for a helicopter Smart. or something, see? I don't know. Just get get high, get high above all of them so that they can't smell you. I, I heard that too. Oh, no. get high. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Sounds not, not that. <laughs> not that. And get oh, high. Shit, Enough man. said around. Uh, see, so he, see, he gets all that food just so he has, because he's going to have the munchies in his life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Um, oh, that's good. All right, Snow, what would you do? That's rich. 
<laughs> well, yeah, see, I told you, I'm, I'm catching the very first flight to Aussie land, and I'm having barbecue <laughs> Australian. <laughs> no, actually, uh, I live about five minutes from uh, Army Reserve site, so I will be going there and grabbing a, what best armored vehicle I can snag and just destroying the entire city. <laughs> we'll run through everything. <laughs> and you said I was ruthless. You just yeah, I'm just going to rampage <laughs> buildings and do everything just crazy. Rob some banks. <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to do everything that has nothing to do with the zombie apocalypse. They can do whatever they want to everybody else. I'm going crazy. <laughs> I'm going to the nearest car dealership and I'm going to go rail around in Porsches and just have a mad time. <laughs> Pick up the zombie bitches. <laughs> Hey, what you up, guys got up? problems, man. I'm rich, bitch. <laughs> I I never want to play Left 4 Dead with you guys here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's not pretty. You're, you're a, it's whenever not you go, pretty. Do, I just leave you all. Fucking <laughs> dead. All right. all right. And what would I do? I would just. You're a ginger, though. I would have to sit back and play your guitar and then get eaten. Dude, you yeah, know, but like, would the zombies even be a, want to eat you since you have no soul? That's the thing. Yeah, like. That's true. I, you're, you're I think that's what the zombies dead. want. They all want a soul. That's why they're trying to eat people. So, <laughs> me, yeah, you guys are fucked. I'm fine. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll definitely, we'll definitely let Tom be the test. Then you can walk forward. We'll run oh, the other yeah, way. Just do the test. <laughs> and if it doesn't work, well, unfortunately, that's this is who you've come for. This is the one you want. We know. <laughs> no, I'll definitely do the fun part of the zombie apocalypse. You know, obviously, going into a shop, destroying. It. If you've seen Zombie Land, of course. You can destroy things and get it and get away with because it. Because you don't have a twinkie. Oh, tw oh, twinkie. Yeah. <laughs> twinkie. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I think we covered the first question quite well. Anyway, so what's next? Um. Okay, your position on camping. So this is a strategic thing, isn't it? Dub um knows more about this. Um, is this in general. Yeah. Any no. video game. Let's go. Um, how oh, how how it's it might be game breaking um, and yeah. How is it practical, realistic, um, camping? Maybe also what you think the distinct distinction between defending and camping may be, and how that may be, things like that. All right, who's gonna go first? I double. You can Let's start. <laughs> you seem to. Oh wait, now we're talking about <laughs> gameplay. Yeah. Yeah, just everywhere, all <laughs> over the place, not. <laughs> all right. Um, I'll go first, or Dubs go first. Yeah, double. You can start. <laughs> okay. uh, I just cut out for a second, like every sound just disappeared for some odd reason. But um, yeah, I depend it. I think it comes down to what type of game it is. Um, how the how the like, let's say you're in a total war match and you're being overrun and you have to fall back somewhere where you know you have an advantage. Like there might be a little little mound, sort of like a little hill. If you're gonna fall back to that and set up a defensive position, that's not camping. Um, or if you head onto a first-person shooter. And like you're defensively moving between cover, between cover, in a small little area that's classified as, I would say, as defending. It's not camping unless you're in a corner mm, in some dark yeah. shadow, just sitting there for the whole game. Yeah, we talked about this. Sure. Uh, like uh, a good example was the Battle of Hastings. Like I said that earlier to to the bar. Yeah. Like setting were... up a defensive position. Yeah, smart. Yeah, but it's it's practice. It's, it's stupidity when people bitch at you when when <laughs> you obviously you go for the tactical advantage. Like what? Why, why you're smart as you you're smart as Vikings. <laughs> <laughs> no, I took your legs off. <laughs> we can all agree yeah, that no, that was annoying. dirty. <laughs> but, um, yeah, but it, it, it's, if 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 you you fall back to a big hill and the person sits there on the other side of the hill saying I'm not going to fight until you come down, you got the tactical advantage. Why should you have to move? Because you were able to. I mean, some maps are just unbalanced in terms of total war, right? So someone will spawn on the hill. I mean, that happened in Shogun a lot. Um, for when yeah. I played online, and mm -hmm. you'll just be one where someone's closer to the hill, and simple as that. But I mean, like Battlefield, where you go to shooters, when you're sniping, people bitch about snipers not moving around. <laughs> they can't do anything. It's their job. Do you expect a sniper um, to like run around the place? <laughs> oh, I'm a sniper. Yeah, like, yeah. Look at me. They expect them to do the 360 quick scope. 360 yeah, back flip, sick. front flip, <laughs> no scope. <laughs> yeah. I think overall, yeah, really, it's, it's, I guess you it hear really a lot of people bitch about it. Alright. <laughs> Hey, uh, Judy was saying something. Judy um, was saying yeah, something. I mean... Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Trio. Right. Well, I was just going to say that, well, naturally, the context is vital 
But I mean, if you're gonna play Total War, more likely than not, the choke point is not gonna be where you spawn in. Yeah, there there uh, will be times when you spawn on a hill, and I think that's a bit more fair. Um, but as far as like a FPS game goes, I think as far as that goes, people are mad when you're at the spawn and you're trying to shoot and get kills. And what you need to do is like take point A or point B, and the whole team is there, but you're staying back and not really helping that much. Because I mean, if if you give that thought. You're not really lending much help to to the team. You're just trying to get a few kills here and there, and most likely you're not doing that well. Um, as far as like a total war game goes, I mean, if it's one v one, sure, if you find a hill and you're on that hill, then well, you better damn well take that. I mean, that that is a gift from the gods, man. But um, but I can understand why people don't like when you camp, but I would just ha have to say that it's going to be out there, so just you have to keep an eye or think on, like, how can you best beat that? Because if I know a guy is camping this hill, well, that is his right, and so, I mean, what I would think is, is like, well, I now have control of the whole map. I can move wherever I want, you know? So, I mean, it's... I wouldn't really, really say it's a negative thing, but, I mean, if I'm playing Battlefield 3 and soon to be 4, um and a guy is camping in a room, then I'll just think that's my fault for not thinking to check the room. So, I mean, that's, that's about it for me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That sums it up, that's really. Uh, that's a pretty good example. All right. And game and do stuff? I think, um, I think for me, um, camping, I mean, you can do, essentially, when you buy a game, if you can do something in that game, then, you know, you can do it. I mean, you have the right to do it. You bought the game. You can play the game. Yeah. However way you want to play it, right? But what who 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 really can control, you know, the game balance and you know, avoiding things where someone, you know, sits on a hill in total war and then just, you know, it's like, No, I'm not attacking man, you should come up, you've got a better army. I mean, how many times have you guy played, you know, Rome one and then some, <laughs> some guy is sitting on a hill with like some elephant and he's like, yeah. Nope. Nope, you've got a better army than me. Look at your cab, man. It's so much better. I'm not coming anywhere near you. And then it's like, okay, well, you can't do anything about that except either leave or, you know, commit. So I think it really comes down to the map design. If developers are able to make maps that, you know, as you guys said, have strategic positions in them, like little mounds or like in an FPS, you know, cover area that you can move between, I think it's fine, but... I'm not really against camping. As long as the developers know how to, you know, implement something that, that isn't too broken. Like we saw in Rome 1. I think Rome 1's map, <laughs> some of them were just really bad. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, 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 with I, Total I, War. I, I, sorry, go ahead. Yeah. yeah, with Total War, it just gets... It's been getting better, but even Shogun. I mean, Shogun had some really unbalanced maps where one mm -hmm. player would always get to, you know, the center of the map or to the key buildings quicker. Um, but it really just depends on the map and them being tested, I think, for, for balance. Yeah, I think Shogun had it worst. Mm. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I think what their like, Total War in particular is missing is that when you're playing, say, a 1v1 or even a 2v2, there's one person that picks the map and ultimately probably knows it, mm -hmm. That's knows annoying. the layout and everything. So, like, I know I'm going to be the defender, and I know if I pick this map, I start on the hill. Let's do that. So an idea for what I would throw out is having a random map generator, not something that anyone picks. You just hit uh, random and maybe a size, and then <laughs> you're out, you know, just thrown on the map, and whoever has the advantage got the advantage because if you could apply a real-life thing, they were in that position and you had to attack them. You can make your choice to leave. Go pick a different map. You know, Get another random map, see if it comes out different, or whatever. Take your chances at going up the hill. Mm. Like, yeah. I'm thinking that... But, yeah. I think that holds true for custom battles, but for uh, for the match made, like in Shogun, when you played match made, you could just choose if it was land, naval, or siege, right? And then it would custom. just give you one of the maps. But, the, but uh, in the custom game modes, your point holds true that, you know, you choose a map and you know the map, and then it's like, yeah, I'm going to be on this yeah. side, I'm going to win easy. Yeah. Th this is why I'm sort of excited about Rome 2, about this new um, pick off the campaign map. Because that can really balance things out. Because you could choose a random location and not know what's in that area where the hills are. It just sets up sort. Of, it's sort of think, balanced in a way. Yeah. I think that that's custom though. Isn't yeah, it? I because, think that's I mean, really cool that's, too. That's, yeah, I think it would be more custom because how I don't think it could work. I mean, I don't know how they're doing the the thing again. I don't. They said they're not bringing back Avatar. Conquest. No, but, oh, thank goodness. Well, I think what um, needs, another thing that needs to happen is your starting point is using your random. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah I, I'm, I'm with that. Like, um, what they could do is, uh, I don't know if you guys play StarCraft, but you know, when you play StarCraft, 
you have these really cool maps that are balanced, and then you have mm -hmm. random spawning positions with some limitations. So, for example, you could spawn, like, across the map from your enemy, or, like, you know, parallel to your enemy, and regardless which position you do spawn in, the map is somehow, I don't know how Blizzard does it, is balanced enough for both players to, you know, yeah. be able to expand and, you know, play the game in a balanced way. So I think, like, something like that where you have starting positions on the map itself, and then one of them is yours, and, you know, you don't know where your enemy is going to spawn, but you know that they're going to spawn either in location A, B, or C, and then mm -hmm. they spot, the game starts and you see it and you have to react quickly in the moment. Yeah. Well, the thing about it's some interesting Total War, like, yeah. it did happen in real life. Like, people did camp. Like, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm sure they didn't... <laughs> well, of course call it camping back then but um situation. the thing is like if you if you're facing an opponent and they're on a the hill you're not just going to sit there and complain you got out out think the mean double recently <laughs> did a did, did a run to war battle and we planned it out and it works it worked really well we went around the side we hit them hard and <laughs> it works well so yeah. if you're facing someone who's camping on a hill you got to outsmart them think of his well obviously his advantage <laughs> being on the hill but think of your advantages you've got movements you can, you have the yeah the maneuverability you can surround him you can I'm gonna. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna say I agree with that, but then I'm, I also don't agree with that because, like, I saw that battle that two v two you guys played, and I mean, come on, we both, we all know that those two guys weren't the most skilled. <laughs> yeah. <of> total <laughs> 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 like, uh, like, like if you if you up. play against one, <laughs> if you, you play against one of like the out. top, if you play one of the one of again, you know, against one of the top total, like if if you throw someone like Majutsu or like Hitler Fish out there and you put him on that hill. I guarantee you, you will not win. But, uh, I mean, you, you, you brought up yeah. a good point. You brought up a good point in that it happens in real life and you have to deal with it. But I guess we have to ask the question is, where do we draw the line between realism and gameplay, right? Do we want to have fun and balance in multiplayer? Or do we want to, you yeah. know, try to replicate history there? Yeah. I don't know. Hefe, you just got called the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> you shut your mouth. <laughs> anyway, I think, I think we covered that pretty well. That was like a solid 10 minutes on that. Anyway, so something completely different now. Um, I'm sure this won't go on as, as, as much, but um, yeah. So if you had a girlfriend, right, so a few of you have girlfriends here. If you had a girlfriend who had a really, really hot friend and she liked you, what would you do? Let's see. Well, <laughs> I've, I have, I've given this thought and as to not go into the context or details of my own relationship, I would just say that in a in a ideal world, which is what that would be, uh, things would happen that would involve um, a fellowship of three people. <laughs> fellowship. In that's, that's right. You just and, pull out um, the fellowship of the rings, and it's all good. Yeah, and that'll be basically how it goes if it was a really hot friend. But yeah, yeah. It, I mean, it, 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 it's the thing is how hot. <laughs> I mean, man, if you've got a girlfriend who's open enough for that, I mean, go for it, yo. Hell go, yeah. go yeah. for it. If, right. if, ever, if all three parties are, three way. you know, consenting <laughs> consenting adults and who are willing to do that, then I don't see why not. I think, yeah. I think the first question would be, if you had a girlfriend that, you know, was into three ways, where did you find her for starters? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yeah, it's probably my <laughs> well, wow. uh, in all serious, um, I think it comes down like, is she like? Oh, is that the I, question? I don't know, right? is, <laughs> it, is the question is the question three ways or would you cheat? Is that the question? Because <laughs> this is such a weird <laughs> question. <laughs> I think it's been answered well enough. It's gonna be. It's gonna be yeah. Let's just, let's just say it's gonna be difficult. You have to make an important decision. <laughs> Follow your heart, oh, no, I mean... not your dick. Let's just say that. <laughs> Much. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if if you have a girlfriend who you're you're actually into, you know, and it's something yeah. real, I wouldn't I wouldn't you know risk yeah. that. That's just plain of cheating. So. But yeah, it depends where you. Yeah. Do you want more action or yeah, do you want to getting, be happy? <laughs> it's getting too serious <laughs> and emotional. Yeah, yeah. Come here, man. It's all right. All right. Okay. <laughs> I think we <laughs> covered that well. All right. All right. This question is completely random, but uh, we'll see how this goes. Right. Which apocalypse would you? I mean, would be more enjoyable. One with vampires, one with Sharknadoes. <laughs> <laughs> Sharknado. The best movie ever. What would be more enjoyable? Vampires, for sure. Sharknado. 
for sure. sure. Shot, I would say Bam. Sure. I would say uh, Bam's too, because I know they're good at taking it like the bitches they are. So, I mean, you, you would have a better <laughs> chance, you know. That's it. Yeah. it depends what type of vampires, though. I mean, not just that. If you, get, if you get lucky enough, and the vampire who attacks you happens to be this hot vampire lady, then you might be thinking, oh my god, she might trick you into, like, sex or something, or, like, she might, like, make an approach. <laughs> so right there, <laughs> the right there before you die, right there before <laughs> the you minutes. die, you will be happy. You might be happy. You might be tricked. <laughs> but you might be, you know, wow, wow this is happening. And, you can become and then you dead. Yeah, you I think, I think... <laughs> yeah, and then you become a vampire and you're invincible for the rest of, you know, life. So that's, that's awesome. <laughs> I think JD planned this a bit too. <laughs> He's got this planned out. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, Bampgasm. That's it. Bampgasm. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? If, um, yeah, no, flying yeah, sharks were fucks. Let's just say it like that. Shark, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've all seen. I've seen the movie. It was amazing. Yeah. Shark shark made a, it was a very odd movie. Mm. Hey, it was amazing, right? Oh, all right. Sure. Okay. So all right, this is a th this is a good one. I hope you guys have prepared <clears> this. Favorite Spartacus quotes. Now, if you haven't watched Spartacus, don't worry. But um, most people have, and if you've watched Spartacus, you'll know some of the the mad shit that they say in that. Um, so I want to start, Marcus. You can start off because your quote is your favorite quote is my favorite quote. So yeah. So set up the scene. Oh no, I didn't set up the scene. Anyway, the 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 best quote in the entire show is. <laughs> You mad cunt. <laughs> <laughs> it's easily the best quote in the entire thing, I feel. And so it's all the, it's yeah. the, way, the way the guy said it. Yeah, it's it. the setting he that really screamed just, it. You yeah. mad cunt. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so that's yep. me and Marx's. Uh, anyone else? Who's there? Let's see. Um, I want to shout this at Renfest, or just actually anywhere would would be just right. Um, it is a quote by Batiatis, one of my favorite characters from that show, and he says, the gods have seen it fit yet again to spread cheeks and jam cock in ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a lot of Alright. Double? Uh, well, I, ha I have a real disliking for like real like, arrogant shit talkers, so my favorite would be words full from mouth as shit from ass. <laughs> 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 That's uh, you, don't worry. <laughs> nice. Alright, we got Game Design Snow. Um, I've never seen the show. Oh, never, oh. Never Spoilers. <laughs> Get out. Go. Yeah. You've got never seen the show. That's alright. Oh dear. You've got a lot to look forward to. It's okay, so. I'll make it I'll make it up with the Game of Thrones quote. Oh yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> alright, Snow, you've definitely seen Spartacus. I yeah, I don't actually have one that just shines over the rest of them. Alright. Okay. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> Boring. Uh, that was great. Right, um, yeah. <laughs> Can't say I really do. It's just kind of. Yep. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> Alright. This th this one is pr uh, pretty cool. Okay. So if you could change one thing in a certain game, so it could be any 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 game that you like, what would you what would you change and why? So. Um, oh, that's fucking. Ooh. I might just start, start this off. Um, um, a few of you. Have, um. You know, play Mountain Blade Warband, um, the single player thing. If you could do that multiplayer, that'd be so fun. Like, uh, so we'll yeah, be still doing a, would... a, a Clash of Kings series like like me. Um, you, you can imagine mm -hmm. like two people going off, taking off, taking uh, over kingdoms and stuff. You know, that would be great. That yeah. would be amazing. So. That, that was my thing too, man. That was exactly my thing. Persistent world for for Mountain Blade. That yeah. would be amazing. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. See, I I would have said I would have said um the best thing to change would have been making. Grand Theft Auto online with everyone, but oh my god, they've already done it. This is awesome. So. <laughs> they have, and you can check out my channel, Shameless Plug, for a series. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, that's honestly, I think I was speaking to Double before. It was like a dream of having yeah. like a like a kind of MMO world, but you know, in mm -hmm. Grand Theft Auto, and they it's did so it. Much and fun. It's like, they did it. So I'm gonna have to I see just stuff for stealing my dreams. But that was, <laughs> It's gonna be like a wasteland, it's just yeah. chaos going everywhere, cars. I just wish it, <laughs> the player cap wasn't so small. I just wish it yeah, was a little, little bit higher. higher. A little bit higher. What's the player cap? It's current gen. I think it was 16, 16. including yourself. It's it's not bad. Oh wow. It's, it's, it's not bad, but it's kind of. It's, it's, it's <laughs> in what game? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, but if you had 16 individual people on the map having a mad six star cop chase, it would <laughs> oh, totally yeah. drop. I feel sorry for the cops. Oh man, there's, there's the multi there's the multi theft auto mods. For um, 
for GTA San Andreas. It's like hundreds of players at once. Yeah. Actually, that's what I was looking into too, because I got San Andreas. I, I played that. That stuff was so much fun. Like, I was when I was a group of friends and on PC or console. Were like, uh, it's on PC. Yeah. yeah. See, on console, yeah, you, it, won't, it can't handle it. It can't handle that. <laughs> Probably not. Yeah. I'm, you can't really mod the console too. But like, it was so awesome. We had like this group of friends, and I got somehow like, they kind of left me behind or something. So I had to get on this bike and try to find them. And like I went through the town, and there were like freaking tanks shooting at each other, <laughs> and like people with RP. It was absolutely insane. Sounds, so much that fun. Sounds yeah. awesome. Oh dear. Power of PC it's... modding. Right. <laughs> Snow. What would you change in the game? Like just all around campaign single player needs to go bye bye, and it needs to be cooperative campaigns for everything. Yeah, it's a lot more fun. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know though. I actually like just playing on my own. Well, you, but that option always exists. It's just you know always open the door that a second you mean player. Just adding can... co-op instead of removing single player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, okay, but I mean, it's yeah. like yeah, play with AI well, can load into it. Look at look at look at all the new games coming out. I don't know if all you guys follow like the next gen games. You got games like Watch Dogs and uh, Division that have yeah. like seamless mm -hmm. and, and Des Destiny Bungie's new game that's like all seamless joining you know like you yeah, just... yeah they, those games look really cool yeah you're just rolling around the city and then your mate comes in and starts hacking your game you're like what <laughs> and then you know you shoot him and like that <laughs> that was what I wanted the future and it's here but anyway who's, who's, who's next is everyone answered Double? let's see uh, oh, I, no, I have not still, yeah. I will take my turn now you take let's my see. turn now <laughs> <laughs> if you can, if you could picture this, think Dark Souls and Elder Scrolls Five. All right. Now, my biggest beef with Skyrim is the combat uh, and the voice acting too. But I'll get to that at some other point. But I would like to have in Skyrim or some future Elder Scrolls game the combat of Dark Souls. Every fight would be dramatic and tough. And I mean, I feel maybe it's just me, but I I would feel like I would get a lot more out of that uh, world than charge again and being able to like sprint at these horse-like yeah. speeds and just killing things like that, so Probably I think not. that would be my op my optimal game there. I think I think Snowhood has a story about he's playing on... What are you playing on, Snow? Legendary? Oh, on oh gosh, damn. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Got talk about some it. legendary difficulty for Skyrim. Walked out of the very first level, you just, you know, strolling down the, the river there to go to the next little town. Oh, a little yeah. mud crab. Let's fight the mud crab. That won't <laughs> be a problem. I'm gonna walk up to the mud crab, whack! One hit dead. <laughs> <laughs> Killed by a mud crab, man. No chance to swing my sword. Not even a chance to swing. Just walked up and he pinched me with his little claw and tick, tick, and dead. <laughs> fuck me, man. There you go. Oh, don't fuck with the crabby, list. man. Don't fuck with so I don't. I don't know how you play that game on legendary, but there's some serious action to be had there. Yeah, the starting would be a pain. But you learn um, you your lesson. Yeah, yeah. The, the whole the whole dark soul thing, yeah. Yeah. thing would be epic. Um, yeah, that would be really epic. I used to think actually, like, how cool would it be to have like you know Skyrim with directional combat too? That that'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. like you know, Mountain Blade style. Like a show. Yeah, that I, would I be think. Interesting. I think we can agree that, you know, the Elder Scroll games they they need better combat and they need God, it. Yeah. I think yeah, the whole thing is just the world. You get lost in it, and then yeah. you just do everything. Um, I mean, I think I've put. It's kind of classic, but everyone says this, but I think I put like 200 hours over on Skyrim. I still find new fucking things, like sometimes, yeah. Yeah. find like a side yeah. quest that you've never done before, I'm like, what? Just random and, um, ones, like... Yeah, yeah, Carry just on. like randomly generated thing. I don't know how it works, but I think they try to put into... <laughs> um, I mean, that's how the system works. I mean, if you've already been, so if you haven't been somewhere, the mod will take you there. I mean, the mod, the um, quest will take you there. I thought that was cool, but um, yeah, I think it's all good. Yeah, all right, I think it's just uh, double. I cannot think of anything. <laughs> You've had this whole time, man. <laughs> Double just remove all the mud crabs from the game so it won't hit you. <laughs> oh, Dubs, it would be like, yours would be like armor, but on the no, global scale. Because I've got so much games, you're like armor, I was trying to think what I want to be changed in it, but I just can't think of what. Yeah, it's the thing because there's a thousand people. Uh, so, getting oh in God. and out of vehicles proper. Yes, oh, proper God. animation, <laughs> proper animation, yeah. not this popping in and out bullshit like who, I'm a Houdini type shit. Yeah. That's kind of a thing for all the games. No matter how good the animation is, you still have this moment of, I'm stuck, and now I'm out of the car. <laughs> God 
damn it, man. Except for GTA where you can dive out of the car, but then you're still stuck in a rolling animation. <laughs> rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep like, rolling. like Mountain Blade Warband where you're riding your horse. Someone, like, freaking cleans Down. your horse's legs. Like, destroys your horse with, like, this huge axe. And then, like, your character just casually slides across the screen and, like, picks <laughs> themselves up as if nothing had happened. Uh. Oh, man. Oh yeah, that was like um yeah, and this is a bit off topic, but me, me and Marcus and Snow, we were playing Mountain Lake Warband, and we we're playing on the Ministerial map, and we were at the very very top. We oh, charged gosh. off our horse. You, you know, the, you know the top, the very very top bit where the white tree is yep. in Ministerial. We jumped yep, off yep, that yep. with horses. We landed. Our horses got absolutely destroyed, but we just got up like yeah, yeah, we could. <laughs> Do you know how high up? That's like it's probably it's almost a kilometer high. Yo, I'm low. kidding. That's. Yo, low. We, and we were just like riding an air going, yeah, mate, just like having a fight in midair as well. We're like swinging at each other. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, we went completely off topic. That was pretty good. All right, this is, uh, I think we can all relate to this one. What is the deal with, with women? What is the deal with women? <laughs> what is their problem? Such what, a broad... what is their problem? Okay. I don't think we have enough time. This is, have enough time. <laughs> this is my um, chance here because my girlfriend just left by that. So <laughs> my, my, my deal or what I think their deal is, they want to be happy, but they don't know, they don't want to help reach that goal of being happy. They will do everything they can to prevent that, and so they take the world down with them. That is their problem. Please, <laughs> please, don't, think... please don't hate me. Oh, come on. Just, oh. <laughs> some, some women just want to watch the world burn. I think that sums it all up. I completely agree with that. Well. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's just menstrual cycles, yo. Let's be honest here. <laughs> their bodies... <laughs> Their bodies go through things that we don't know about. I mean, men do menstruate, believe it or not, but not obviously not as dramatically as women do, right? So I, I don't think they want to take the world down. Come on, man. I, I, <laughs> what kind I, of girls have you met? What kind of girls have you met in your life? <laughs> that, seriously. It's like a narrow girlfriend, man. Like my girlfriend is Nero. She wants to burn Rome. <laughs> well, I mean, clearly I'm making a light, but um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's it's no, I, I get what he's saying though, because it's it's some of heaps negative, you know? Like yeah. you can see the po you can see the positive outcome of a situation. I'm fat. But they'll try the they'll try the neg yeah, I'm they'll try the I'm negative ugly. first. I'm fat. No you're not. Um, I am. Yeah. Shut up. I mean I, I, sometimes I just think females like to see you suffer because oh, they make you feel like you need them. They're the devil. Like they'll say everything's all I, right and then boom. I personally think it's I, I think it's they want I think they attention. want to be they want to be needed, yeah. Like yeah. They, 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 but the whole attention thing, yeah. I mean, being at this age and like part of the whole Facebook thing, um, you got a girl who you know the whole pe po uh, post a picture saying she's ugly. I and mean, why post a picture she's for? Like some, you know, she's like, like some mine out of mine. Have you seen those ones? That's a perfect example. Uh, I'll put a, a photo of her posing. I'm ugly. Yeah. What? Pretty much, what? she she wants she she's putting that up so people can tell her she's not. That's what she wants. But, um, it really, <laughs> it well. really depends on the girl too, right? Because like yeah, I've, yeah, I've I had think... girls who are like so, you know, drama queen, you know, look at me, I'm ugly, or look at me, I'm fat, or you know, the kind of girl that posts a selfie every two minutes on Facebook. Yeah. <sighs> but then, but then there are also like really cool girls who are just like, just like cool, you know. It's I really just don't like generalize. Yeah, generalizing is a bit of a. a weak yeah, return, it's, it's really that. hard to say. Um, so I think I think the answer that includes every every female on the planet is just menstrual cycles. Menstrual cycles yeah. done. <laughs> done. Next question. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, I I think to cover our um tracks too, I think everyone should certainly take this tongue in uh, cheek here and not to think that we're actually you know. So, yeah, just just to keep us safe from any uh hate that might come yeah, out no, our way. Next thing we end up on a feminist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh no! Why modern day gamers on YouTube are sexist? Yeah, that's that be, hey, be like they that would be very us. horrible. They complain a lot as well. I'm just saying, everything. like they say, oh yeah, getting pregnant is so painful. They haven't get, they haven't got kicked in the nuts, have they? They don't, they know nothing. <laughs> John, hey, I know uh, the scene. I've seen uh, the study. Uh, John Snow, you know, know nothing. Uh, I think I told uh, you. About this. <laughs> have you guys heard that apparently males have um taste buds in their testicles? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Peanut butter tastes amazing What's there. Stuff? Yeah. yeah. Right. you read, man? I'm, right, I'm gonna I saw it on my you. I'm just going to chill. Let's put my nuts in ice cream all the time. Just <laughs> I, I don't know. Milk's so smooth. <laughs> How does that taste? Not the, all right. All right. Next. Nutty. 
<laughs> Apple? No? Apple? Okay, okay, okay. okay. Peach. Oh, Wait. come on. I have a picture in my head of someone teabagging an ice cream <laughs> cup of vanilla now. <laughs> <laughs> Fruit sex. In, 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 into a, into a response, what you said about the, the ice cream tasting nutty. <laughs> no. <yeah. laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> oh dear. Perfect timing. All right, move on from this before it gets worse. <laughs> um, what is your least favorite food? <laughs> it's just oh. straight to food. <laughs> What is your least favorite food and mm. why? This relates to the last question we were just talking about. How are we tasting it? How exactly are we tasting this food? I don't know. For tofu. <laughs> tofu is my least favorite. For your mouth. Tofu. I love tofu. Tofu? Yeah, tofu is yeah, pretty good, man. Texture. Yeah, so it, it doesn't just have to be about the taste. It could be about texture. I don't like olives. I just hate the taste of olives. That's just me. Um, yeah. I just, I've, I've never liked olives. Like, ugh. Thinking about it, it's, it's making me cringe right now. So, you like you olive know, oil? You, 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 you don't have a very wide selection of food state already. Oh, but, shut up. Potato. Potato. I can't stand mayonnaise. Oh. If I eat mayonnaise, oh. I almost puke. I just can't. I, I oh, can't dear. take it. Love it. I don't know why. Love, love it. it. Spoon of it. Mayo, man. Mm -hmm. it. I've had the best memories. Just like buying to a sandwich and then just freezing. And then just looking, then, oh, then, then slowly opening up your sandwich, seeing all that white shit. Oh god! And um, <laughs> yeah, it's like, what is that mayonnaise? Oh, I hate mayonnaise. For yeah, I, hate mayonnaise. I agree. I, I, I'm not a fan of mayonnaise. Oh my god! It's so bad. <laughs> what are, are you? Are, are you like digging a spoon in a bottle of mayonnaise? Yeah. Or personally offended by mayonnaise. Oh, God damn. <laughs> oh. Mayonnaise damn. will dislike this video. Mm. <laughs> Screw you guys. You guys. It's like craft, craft mayonnaise. <laughs> but this does bring a question up: Is mayonnaise an instrument? What? what? If any, they use it. Fucking Patrick, shut up. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I bet, we're, I bet we're gonna get a guy on YouTube called Mayonnaise and he's gonna yeah, start no. like, like reading a yeah. hate comment. Right he's now, coming down with it. right now, as, it, as he's watching this, he's, he's in a different tab writing YouTube name Mayonnaise. Right. <laughs> Someone's gonna do it. And then, and then another <laughs> channel called Olives. He's gonna dislike it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make a team group called Mayonnaise and oh, Olives. Oh, <laughs> we're campaigning this... against them. Whoa. Yeah, they just they start total war and everything. Just <laughs> hating on us. Um, mayonnaise Legion. No, Charge! <laughs> Mayo Legion. May Mayo Mayo Legion. Legion. Right. All right, I think we've gone um, a bit off topic. Um, <laughs> I think we. <laughs> um, has everyone said their least favorite food? I like pickles. No. Well, you don't like pickles. pickles. You can just leave. I'm here. Who, um, who does like their pickles? You know when you. I, was... I like pickles. I like pickles. Mm. Pickles are the shit, man. Yeah. Pickles are the shit. I love pickles, man. Mm. I don't. I love every food. <laughs> You're fat. Like the greatest you food. 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 Every food. Um. Yeah. Uh, I think it's the fruit. You know that fruit? That that giant fruit. That oh. giant fruit. <laughs> that giant fruit. Oh yeah, that yeah, one. That yeah, one. the that giant fruit. That one. That one from that one time. That one <laughs> oh. from that place. Oh yeah, mate. Yeah. A band camp. Um, <laughs> What's that giant fruit called? Where you the put a giant fruit, fruit, fruit in your ass? <laughs> Antelope, what? watermelon. I mean, yeah, durian or something. I don't know, durian, durian, whatever. That. It's like a tropical fruit. Oh, it's but, from down there. Okay. That's yeah. Cool. Um, oh, down under yeah. fruit. It's probably like a, it's an exotic fruit, but yeah, I, every other food I love. Food is the best. Anyway, all right. Anyway, um, I'm gonna skip that question because that's not really a good question. But um, well, I, I I've been waiting on this for a while. Okay, favorite Game of Thrones quote. All right, Ooh. here we go. Okay. Oh, all right. Um, um yeah, I think we'll take turns in this so we can all hear each person's um. I think we should start off with Marcus again, as you've been starting most. Hey, if you, you, I did the Spartacus one. You can do this one because we, we share right. the same. Right, okay, quote, quote well. from Bronn after bloody King Joffrey has been. Um, I don't know what he was doing to Sansa, okay. but um, yeah, Br Bronn, the cell sword yeah. of uh, Tyrion Lannister. There's no cure to being a cunt. <laughs> yeah, that's the that, That's it. <laughs> there's no cure to being a cunt. Um, I can get that tattooed across my back. <laughs> I'll get that tattooed on my forehead. <laughs> Yeah, bro. <laughs> Alright, that's a good one. I like that one. It's good. 
coming to get the jumper. Um, let's see. This uh, quote actually stuck with me pretty well. Uh, it's by our favorite uh, dwarf there. Never forget what you are. The rest of the world will not. Wear it like armor, and it can never be used to hurt you. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. No. Deep, yeah, dim fields. Get on the fields, bus. <laughs> 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 Dem field. Dem fields. The fields in the bus. Right, right, in the, the right in the field spot. Yeah. Right in the fields. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Alright, who's next? Uh, Game Deuce, you owe us a good one, as you didn't have a Spartacus one. So. Oh, yeah. Um, I also got a Tyrion quote, which is, yeah, a big surprise. Uh, I liked yeah. that quote when he was like, My sister has mistaken me for a mushroom. She keeps me in the dark and feeds me shit. I, I laughed. <laughs> I I that, so yeah. when, I first, when I first heard that quote, I actually I was like sitting alone in my room watching that, and I, I was like laughing out loud for real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. um, that was a good one. Uh, Snow didn't have one for Spartacus, so get your no. shit together. Go on. Nothing burns like the cold. Nothing burns like the cold. Who's that from? Mm. That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm guessing it's someone from the north. Of course. No, it's not. Bear Grylls. Quote from Bear Grylls. Nothing to do with it. Um, Marcus, <laughs> okay, it's a lot of protein. Well, um, yeah, yeah, okay. the, quote that, the quote that you told me that, that you liked after watching season 3 was like um, a king that calls him, no, like someone who calls himself king. It's from... Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, it's someone from who keeps Tywin. referring Tywin. to himself as a king is not a king at all. It's no the true yeah, king or something. Tywin. Yeah, Tywin. That, that, yeah, that's one of my favorite. I forgot, I forgot about it. It wasn't just that the quote, was, it was like... It was the atmosphere, like as he said that King, yeah, King Joffrey face like room. shit. He's <laughs> yelling at his own family about how he's the king, and they're looking at him like, "All right, little shilling." Right, time for bed. <laughs> oh yeah, that's just <laughs> following that whole scene was brilliant. Anyway, I think winter maybe, is just, coming. I think um, maybe like a quick follow-up question, if you don't mind, would probably be like, "What's your favorite character?" Oh yeah, yeah sure, I yeah, sure. Probably, I think. Yeah, um, I'll go with Tywin. A lot of people hate hate him, but I think he's probably the best character in the entire show. <laughs> um, such a ruthless, ruthless lad, eh? Just fucking mm. gets what you, whatever he needs to be done, he gets it done. Yeah. And um, I think that's what he's like. I think he's probably that's what makes him one of the best. And I mean, the dude who I don't know the actor's name, but he portrays him perfectly. That's that's pretty awesome. But yeah. That's my favorite character. I don't know the rest of you. I've got like two. Like there's something about Stannis. He's just like, he's just got this face like, I don't give a shit, all the time. He's like, I'm I'm a boss, no one can kill me. He's like, I don't know, he, he's, it's just his facial expressions, especially in a, in season three. And um, But um, I think it would have to be Bronn, though. Bronn, like, the cells. He's, he's so funny, and he's just one of the best sword fighters that, that, I see, that, that you see, really. And um, everything he says, his facial expressions all the time, is just oh, hilarious. So yeah, I'd have to say Bronn, the cell sword. <laughs> Right. Mm. I'll go with Arya Stark. I think she is going to be. Oh, yeah, she's awesome. She's gonna have. She's really cool. I think she's she's awesome. And I don't want to do any spoilers for anybody, but she's gonna do great things in the future. I think. Uh, I will, we'll go we got a book reader. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it's kind of yeah, obvious. Like right, she's gonna be a badass, especially at the end of season three of Game of Thrones. Well, look at her family, yeah. Her family's yeah, that is, that is not a good family. family. Yeah, I would hate to be Stark. <laughs> oh, tough life. Tough life. What about what about you, Snow? <laughs> Who's your favorite character? You get it. You get a direwolf, dude. That's true. Um, who do I like? I like uh, Mr. Davos Seward. He's oh, uh, yeah. he's, he's he's cool. Yeah. Yeah, he's actually he's, he, yeah he's a, he's a good person even though he's he's done bad things. Yeah, I like um the extras are cool as well. Mm. The extras in the show, unnamed Dothraki four if you like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my personal favorite okay. was Dothraki three. <laughs> I didn't think he projected enough, but yeah. 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 I'm also a fan of Baelish. I like Baelish's character. Hmm. Really. Oh, and I feel sorry for Khal Drago. Like, he, the greatest warrior has never been defeated, dies from an infected boob. It's, like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that, was, that, was a, that, was, that was a morbid, like, couple of episodes with them. You know what I mean? Like, he's dying, baby dies. Yeah. It's just... Damn. It didn't feel, it didn't feel. 
Alright. Well, you still on the field bus with that one. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Joffrey's my no. no, no. <laughs> what? Kid. Um, let's see. Uh, I always have a soft spot for Crucify him. the characters that are a bastard. So Jon Snow, oh, um, yeah. he, I, I, I really have a soft spot for him, and King Robert, that fat bastard. Oh, I love him. I, I, I think he is what the common man would. He, now he's he is not that, but. I think that in real life, the common man would be him, just getting fat, drinking beer, and fucking till he <laughs> dies. You know? So, I I have a soft spot for him too. Yeah. <laughs> till till he dies, of course. Yeah, and like a, f- a few people who know a bit more about Game of Thrones, like his past with the Warhammer, like you hear so many mm-hmm. like good things about him. Like, I, I, he does like, he, he does um say a few things. Like in the series, like how he like he put a hammer through someone's chest or something. I like, I can't remember, but um, yeah, like he was definitely before he became a king and stuff. He was he was a deadly warrior and he was. Oh yeah. He, he did not mess with. You him. know, I think, I think they did a ho- to be honest. I think they did a horrible job with the casting for that character. Like, I always go on about how Game of Thrones had the best casting ever. Like every character seems to fit the role. But yeah, the character they had for King Robert was like, what? This guy wasn't freaking King of Queens! What are you doing?! <laughs> this, guy like a, this guy comes from a comedy background, and whenever I see his face, I want to laugh. And like, why? Why could you bring in anyone who's better? I, I think, yeah, in, in, in saying that, I mean, it's completely unrelated to Game of Thrones, but you're talking about casting there. Um, for those who follow it, and if you don't mind, have like the discussion sure, yeah. as well. Um, the Ben Affleck being... Affleck being uh, cast as Batman. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah. The whole no, night what? Crossover. I was actually gonna put this in. Um, <laughs> it didn't what? It's, Damn, it's been confirmed. So Ben Affleck rough. is the new Batman. Um, what? So it's, been, it's, an ex- yeah, it's an explosion on the internet. Uh, first off, I'm fine. I'd like to remind like. everyone. I'd like to remind who, if if you guys remember what the internet response was to Heath Ledger being chosen as. Um, yeah, the Joker. Black. They they exploded as well with that. So I think maybe they people got to fucking relax, eh? Hey? I'm <laughs> fine with it. I think he's a great man. actor, especially um if you've seen yeah. the Argo. Um, he did a great job. Yeah, he's he's a great actor, but I mean, is he Batman? I guess yeah. we'll have to wait. I'm re- I'm really seen him as like a yeah. like a physical, like you know, punchy punchy people. You know, like he seems to be very uh, calm I... actor to me from what I've seen. That's the thing. That's that's why I think he he'll bring. You bring a completely opposite Batman to what um, Christian Bale did. Christian Bale, like, yeah. You know, he did a good Batman, but he, did a great job, he was yeah. always uh, he was he was he was over um, he was always out. Uh, uh, I forgot the word. What's the one where he did where he was blind? The okay. Daredevil. The Daredevil. Yeah, Daredevil. He did the a horrible one job. One facial in that, expression the entire time. <laughs> so it kind of works for Superman, but yeah, I think like, he. I think I think Christian Bale kind of took it over the top with his Batman. Yeah, he, he was always outshined by his his villain. <laughs> like, I mean, <laughs> both times. Oh, like, trying to kill me. Both yeah. actors. The Joker well, I mean, the greatest villain of all time. I, mean, I would say that wouldn't really be be his um, fault, though. I mean, that's that's where they took the um, script, and it's not like as as though he did that uh, voice too. I mean, well, that's that's what they did. Uh, yeah, post, but look, you know. look at look at all the the documentaries and stuff about how Heath Ledger did his role, and half the stuff he yeah. did, and the acting was all him. Like he he, they all said that. I mean, as far as what they said at least was that you know all the. The extra little things and 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 how he mm-hmm. acted and the the mannerisms and stuff that the Joker had was all Heath Ledger's. You know, yeah. took me watching wanted... that movie twice to appreciate his acting. You know, and mm-hmm. I didn't know it was Heath Ledger the first time I watched it. I was a comp- I was like, what? You know, I didn't know yeah. it was him until the end. And um, in, he did an insane job for that. And same with Tom Hardy as Bane. I mean, we've never oh, seen yeah. Bane. Yeah. Like Snow, do it. Snow. Oh yeah. <laughs> Snow, weasel glass. Weasel glass. No. Come on. <laughs> Prepare yourselves. <laughs> Drum roll. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, gosh. Take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> Come on. Be careful, I will, before I put on the mask. Oh, I God. rule nice. the world. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and now I get the power back to the people. <laughs> it is your oh, it's just, take it's actually it. really good. Yeah, um, <laughs> you got a, yeah, but you got a career I, out there. I, I, I personally think it comes down to the actor and doing things. Yeah, they can be limited by the script, of course, but it depends how the end. 
uh, Zack Snyder. Oh, uh, I don't know though, because Christopher Nolan, it was a bit more thing to let joke um, Heath Ledger do what he wants to do. I don't know how Zack Snyder does his things. Um, Henry Cavill was a pretty good Superman, but he's very one tone Superman. Um, oh, yeah. You know, so I liked it though. Fucking like, love the Superman movie, but um, hated it. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, watch out, we got a badass over here. Uh, I thought I thought it was. A... <laughs> Tell me exactly what you hated about it. <laughs> um, I just didn't re- really care for it. Um, I think my favorite part of that film too was the villain, and that was about it. I mean, just as as far as the pacing for the story, I didn't really feel. Haven't familiar. seen it. Um, haven't seen it. Don't spoil it. Haven't seen it. I, I haven't it. seen it either. Actually, I don't. I don't. <laughs> mute, no, mute. I never s- s- spoil things. So no, no, it's fine. But um, and. As as far as like the overall um, plot goes, I mean, I couldn't feel for him, and I think it's fair to say if you saw the trailer, you can kind of see that he probably ends up killing more innocent people than anyone yeah. um, else does, you know. And uh, like, it's just I can't go on more without having to um, spoil things, but I, I just didn't really care for it. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I get the whole collateral damage thing; he would have killed hundreds of people with the fights that happened, <laughs> but um. I don't know. I thought. I personally thought they did. They did a pretty decent job with setting up the new Superman, um, and they're doing the whole thing how that like the DC is doing, trying to ground everything in a slightly more thing way. Um, like the mm-hmm. new suits look awesome. We've never seen Kryptonians like that before, and that world like that. But I don't, anyway, let's carry on with the point Hef had with his questions and stuff because we could pretty off. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. That was that, that was good. Um, always feel free to add questions in. You know, so that was good. And diversity. That was yeah, interesting. Yeah. Um, right, this one might uh, this is um, might cause a bit of a uh, discussion. We're not, I'm not exactly sure, but um, gay marriage is not allowed everywhere in the world, especially not Australia. It's a big thing over here. It recently got um, <coughs> it was allowed in um, I'm not, I'm not sure what the what the right word New is. New Zealand. Yeah, but uh, yeah, in, it, uh, I think it got allowed here actually. Yeah, quite recently. It was, and, um, yeah, it, 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 it's also a big thing in Australia. A lot of people have gone to New Zealand now to get married. They've gone pretty crazy. Yeah, over yeah, here. it's um. Well, the the whole thing now is that whichever I'm not going to get into Australian politics, but whichever party gets elected, the left wing party, they'll have gay marriage here. But I think it's more of a personal question for each 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 person. Yeah. Um, I think all in all, I think the hate against it's really uh, stupid. And I, I mean, I don't want to hate on people, but I don't understand how what someone else does or what how their their marriage affects anyone else. I mean, if mm-hmm. if if a gay person getting married meant that they could come into my house and bash me for no reason, like they had like above the law, then I'd be pissed off with the gay marriage. But they don't, and they're exactly equal. But that's that's my thought on it. I mean, yeah, I, t- I t- don't totally get agree it. with you. Something, you know? Yeah, I think as long as they, as long as personal freedoms don't really, you know, adversely yeah. or physically affect people. I mean, some people go like, well, I want my kids to grow up in a in a family environment with a typical mom. Dad, and, and and then whenever they start saying that, it's just like, uh, just because you know two people are gay and they want to get married, that doesn't mean they're gonna be a negative influence on your kids, dude. Uh, yeah. G- it's, being it's... gay is not being gay is not like a disease. It's not gonna jump to your kids. Don't worry. <laughs> You're born of it. Like some people can't can't yeah. can't help it. Like and love is love. You know, like you can't help it. And um, I think marriage is the best way to show that. And. Yeah. And for some people, just n- them not allowed to do that, of course it's going to cause trouble. And I, think, well, I think most people get confused with their marriage in terms of religion. I think it's it's exclusively religious. Yeah, that, that, that annoys me. Like, I think the biggest that, thing is... That's mostly yeah. in the Middle East. Or here as well, man. You got I mean, Look at America. They don't want it there because they're, a lot of the religious... Do states agree with it, though? Uh, yeah, some of the states have yeah. it, but it's not a federal thing. You have to be within the... Well, see, oh, unfortunately, I mean, in the Middle East, it's a completely different story. Like, yeah. in the Middle East, if you grab, you know, unfortunately, if you if you come here and you grab, you know, grab a random sample of people and you ask them, hey, what do you think about gay marriage? All of them are gonna say, no, you don't think it's the right thing, and they won't they they won't start bashing it, and you know, they won't go out and demonstrate against it like you'd see, like say, in I don't know, the Russia. southern United States. But um, but it's it's still like it's like a taboo thing, you know. You don't talk about it, which I think is very unfortunate. But that's the way it is. 
Yeah, some, well, some, see, some um, places won't change. Yeah, it's so. it's not just a uh, ma matter of uh, love too. When you get uh, ma married, there's also the uh, le legal rights too. Yeah, like um, yeah. like um, here there was a um gay, gay man who was on his deathbed, and his loved one was not allowed to see him because they were not uh, ma married, and that's just uh, very sad. And uh, like all all of you were uh, saying, I mean, I go my life li living day by day, and what other people do in their bedroom really does not concern me whatsoever and then um i mean it's it's just that uh i just don't un well i mean i can understand i don't agree with that thought but um it's, it's just that i think these type of uh, social matters should be more of a common sense thing it's like hey let people do what they will um i i feel like we're just getting to a, a point now where we're just adding more and uh, more laws to where people just really aren't that that free to say what what they think or do what they want and uh but yeah so i don't i don't want to have to branch out here so yeah uh, like i don't want to i don't want to equate the the i don't want to get too like <laughs> preachy and shit but like, I don't want to equate the whole race thing with um, with how you know, homosexual people are being treated, but it's kind of you know it's it's stupid, right? Because like everyone, everyone was saying, how could you don't choose to be born you know black or or brown, whatever, and you don't choose to be born gay? So it's, it's, it seems like, and again, I don't want to get into the whole thing and say I hate religious people and all that, but I think most mm -hmm. of it would stem from religion, the hate against it, and and people not really reading the bible because apparently in the bible you can't wear a shirt of two cloth and you can't eat shellfish and stuff but people do it um you know but i don't know yeah i think, I think a big thing about it is like um people think that a boy and girl so they can mate and life will go on but like you think about it, like a good example is um modern family like a lot of a lot of yeah. gay people they adopt and they do something good as well out of it like they yeah, you know, they look after someone who maybe doesn't have parents, and and you know it's just you know even if they even if they didn't adopt anyone and just decided to be together, I mean if you really if you really want to be logical, and you think about it, this planet had so many people on it, yeah. and you know yeah, yeah. jokingly jokingly sometimes when I sit around with friends and you know this topic comes up and you know sometimes it gets tense. Like I think everyone here is cool with it, but. Sometimes someone's really outspoken about, you know, being anti, you know, homosexuality. And then I go like, you know, dude, what's your problem? The more gay men out there, the more women <laughs> that are going to be available. I've never thought of it like that. So what, I've never what thought of it like that. Problem? <laughs> that's yeah, a good way to look more, at it. <laughs> exactly. That's the best way to look at it. Just move on with your life, man. You got more, more fish in the sea now. I didn't think of that. <laughs> yeah, that is man, awesome. Man. I'm going to remember that. Oh GD quote. Right there. <laughs> I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get, get, get that tattooed on my forehead, and just underneath, um, yeah. there's no cure to being a cunt or, or, or the whatever it was. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think um, that that was that was good. I think we talked about that in depth, and, that was awesome, and how we dude. actually feel about that. That was uh, that was good. I just want to say I've got family getting, I've got gay family who are getting married this year, and um, I'm happy for them. So, yeah. In the UK, they just passed it in the UK. Yeah, like, no, yeah. It, it, Obviously not here because it's not allowed yet, but um, yeah, no, in England. Yeah, probably September, I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so back to gaming. What is your favorite game and why? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Gays to gaming. Gay to gaming. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Marcus. Um. <laughs> hmm. All right, I think... What was the question again, sorry? What is your favorite game and why? So I think we should start off with Marcus. You want to start off, mate? <laughs> oh, man, fuck. Um... I think I'll get a lot of shit for this because I just think because, or oh, being a YouTuber, everyone thinks that the game you play is your favorite game. I would actually have to go with the Grand Theft Auto series. Um, mm. I think it's fucking amazing. RuneScape for uh, me. I... RuneScape and <laughs> Minecraft and and uh, Dota. Get out. I love them all. <laughs> no. uh, yeah, I just think Grand Theft Auto. There's no other place to get the same experience. Um, same with Total War, but some people prefer to do it in the more like map based in Europa and all that. Yeah. But uh yeah, same thing with Total War though. You know, you can't get that experience of massive armies clashing like you can with Total War. No other company yeah. has really attempted it in that in that scale. But Grand Theft Auto people have attempted free roaming games, you know? Saints Row went in a completely different <laughs> um tangent. Loopy, with, yeah. Things, yeah. Being naked running around like being a purple naked fat dude flying through the city but, <laughs> um <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Other have attempted it. Dream come true. <laughs> <laughs> 
and yeah, so I, I think Grand Theft Auto takes a cake is my favorite. Obviously, then Total War, but yeah, many other. Hey, yeah, yeah, just before, just before, I was joking before. I think my my all-time favorite game would have to be either Age of Empires two or Age of Mythology, because those games oh, yeah, I yeah, still yeah. enjoy them. They they're my childhood. I, I love those games. So yeah, that <laughs> that have to be me. So. Let's see. I guess for me, it would be uh, Japanese RPGs. I can play those all the time. Uh, I, I mean, I don't. I don't think I've actually found very many that I don't like that have come to to the uh, states here. I mean, I'll I'll just sit and get lost in that world and its story for a very long time. So, I, outside of uh, Total War, which I mean, it's 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 great. Um, I wouldn't say it's my favorite game series i mean i like it a lot i put a, a lot of uh, time there but yeah um i i prefer more of the rpg field yeah um jrpgs are so different to western ones man I don't know. oh yeah too much of a change for me like i can't i think dark souls was like a bit of a stretch for me as well that was different but i mean dark souls is very yeah, yeah. Um, is the second yeah. one released yet no but it's going to next gen i think it's pretty i think next gen i'm not sure yeah Anyways, anyway, um, it's not, it's not still there. Still there? Yeah, my most game is Medieval 2, but then Grand Theft Auto mostly just because you can do anything you would want to do outside in real life in that game. I do it anyway. Like, I walk outside my front door and I go, I hate this guy. I wish I'd just pull out my freaking Beretta right now. Bah! Right in the head. What if your neighbor's watching this? <laughs> no wow. real living is the apocalypse. You're getting death stared you by your neighbor right now. That's it. So you just load up the game, you walk out your, your front door, you look at the guy right there on the sidewalk looking at you, and he goes, hey, and you go, oh, don't you say hey to me. Bow! Right in the head. <laughs> and suddenly yeah. you're on a watch list. Uh -oh. Yeah, I think I... Yeah, I know. Hey, watch, watch yourself, man. You've seen all those kids. Hey, yeah, hi, to the NSA. And I think Marcus yeah, can agree with the, um, all the mods you can get for Grand Theft Auto as well. It's a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the dubstep gun. Oh, that was play the cool. background. That was random. That is so catchy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, uh, Game Dusta, what's your favorite game um, and why? This is gonna be weird because like I put most time into you know the uh, the Tell Worlds game and the uh, Tell Worlds are the guys that make Mountain Blade and the uh, Creative Assembly guys. But my favorite game or game developer has to be Team Eco. Um, that's the the, hmm. the Fumito Ida guy. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever played uh, the game. They're um, Eco and Shadow of the Colossus. They oh, Shadow of the Colossus. Sounds familiar. Beautiful yeah. games. They were on oh. PlayStation One, PlayStation. Like those games, I have I've yet to play a game uh, where I've gotten as you know immersed into the universe that the game created as Shadow of the Colossus. Like I don't know why, there's something about it just made me keep playing the game. And when I played it, I was like a little bit younger, so like I, yeah. I didn't necessarily know how to beat the missions. And I would spend like four or five hours at each boss trying to just like figure out how to beat the thing. And I don't know, it's just. It's so awesome, and and the same guy who who made that game, you know, Team Eco, they're working on a game now that they've been working on for like maybe since like 2008. Yeah, is so, that the one with the big bird? Yeah, that's the one with the big bird looking thing. I think, I, I think that's gonna be. It's, I think um, that, it's called the Last Guardian. Yeah, it's back on. It's back on development. Yeah. Yeah, it's, they, it's back on development. Yeah, they took a small break. I think um they they left Sony Studios and then they made their own thing and now they're they're still working on it supposedly. So. Yeah. In a while, but um, yeah, Shadow Colossus is still recognized as like one of the greatest, I think, top 10 in the top 10 games of all time. Um, I haven't, I don't think I've played that in so long, man. Uh, if you haven't played, played that games. game, <laughs> you should, if you haven't played that game, you should buy yourself a PS2 on eBay and play that <laughs> game just for that, man. That game is yeah. so cool. Yeah. I mean, that that game, uh, was really just such a a change from all of the games that that was out during during that um time and I mean you you can say that that really bridged the um gap from just a game and art I mean that that was just I oh, yeah. yeah it was it was just a great game. Yeah. Ah, best game for me. What? Minecraft isn't it? Everyone should already know this. Minecraft yeah. <laughs> no, Sexy Beach Story. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I'd have to say. Getaway. No, I'd have to say armor. Armor two. Like, uh, well, I'm three. Armor two. The reason for it was just like something that hasn't been there before. Like you had realism type shooters, like the first Flashpoint. Um, that was good. That was real good. But the reason armor two stood out for me was just because of the sandbox 
type of simulation that you got. You could, it was just how oh, it was just perfect. <laughs> Even though the animations were kind of stiff and stiff moving and that, but it still it it kind of immersed you into how it gave you some idea of how combat can actually be. As uh, since I have been in combat scenarios during my overseas endeavors and stuff, but it it gives you some brief idea. Uh, to how things can actually unfold so quickly. You could be walking in a forest and then out of nowhere you're being ambushed, you can't locate the enemy, it just immerses you into into the gameplay pretty much. It's, yeah. it's a lot different awesome. to a game like COD. It's a lot different. Yeah, yeah, of course. man. But then Armour 3 just took it to another level. But, uh, yeah, Armour 3 took it to a brand new level. Mm. Yeah, for sure. When the game's fully released, they'll take over Armour 2 once all the features have been released. Awesome. So I think that's everyone. Um, Yep, all good. So, um, last question here before we end this uh, little podcast. Um, what is your favorite um sport team? So it could be any sport. What's your favorite team? This has to be the most random podcast of all time. That's why it's gonna be the most. <laughs> this amazing. Was, that was the goal. That, that was, was the goal. goal. Yeah. <laughs> That's why it doesn't have a name, yo. It doesn't have a name. That's why. <laughs> Do what we fuck. The random is fuck um. cast. Yeah. No. <laughs> um. Cast a random pod. Go Snow, you haven't yeah. started with one. You start with this one. Uh, where I was born, football, American football, Chicago Bears. Hmm. Alright, let's. I, I actually want to put a poll out for the people who watch this. What's, if, for those who are, who are for those who are England and stuff in France and South, South Africa, and you've seen American football, would you think American football is better than rugby? <laughs> um, that is biased. <laughs> oi, oi. No, definitely. Uh, American football is definitely a more tactical game. I'll give them. I'll give American yeah, football yeah. that. Actually, like yeah, the NFL, isn't, that, yeah. it's 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 not just about being a team game. I think they're just it's so complicated. Just to get into it, you need to like be yeah. mentally, you know, you need to have the mentality. Like your mental needs to be so high. I think. I don't, which is I don't, something I don't, that not, not all the fans are exactly like that though. But, um, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not a huge fan. I'm like. Like I, I was exposed to some of it when I was a kid because my dad went to the states and he, he did like he studied, you know, in the states and lived in the states for a while. So he's a big NFL fan, but I'm, I'm not a fan yeah. personally. But I, I can see how I can see how the NFL is can be a really popular thing. But rugby is awesome too, yo. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Holy Dang, shit. I was waiting for you to say. <laughs> I mean, rugby. Into rugby. <laughs> like oh, rugby is the kind of game you just watch it and it's like, holy shit, these guys are tough, man. They just it run, doesn't run around. Doesn't matter who we are. <laughs> what matters is our plan. Um, no, yeah, I think uh, WG probably. I don't think anyone knows the teams and stuff, but the Crusaders, Super Fifteen. Um, that's that's a rugby uh, tournament. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Um, but yeah, I go for the Crusaders and obviously the Australian rugby team. Um, nice. Um, but yeah, that's my favorite sport thing. For for me, we have to be. Oh, we just lost someone. Dubs Dubs dropped out. Oh, oh no, that's why he didn't respond to me. Oh well, we're about oh, to end please. anyway. I'll just quickly end this. Um, I have to be Manchester United. My granddad got me into that as a as a kid. Come on. For oh, he's back in. <laughs> oh, fellow Man United fan. Woo woo. <laughs> If, if everyone, everyone, and their grandma became a Man U supporter after Beckham, like, <laughs> just like how everyone became a fucking Chicago be- a Chicago uh, Bulls fan after Jordan. Dude, yeah. I was a Man United fan as long as I can remember. Like I can, I can remember supporting Manchester United before I could remember like anything. Like it's like my first memory. <laughs> like, yeah. like watching that 90, 1999 Champions League. That's like holy crap, man. That yeah, stuff yeah. was so cool. Yeah, I remember my, my childhood. I was put in a class full of uh, Arsenal fans, and um, oh, yeah. I got a lot of shit. But I um I I stick to it because um my granddad is he's been an all time favorite, and um he got me into them. I uh, I still I'm not into it as, as as much anymore. I don't have paid TV, so like I don't um watch it anymore. I don't have I I don't really watch watch sports anymore. But when I was in England, um I watched it a lot. I even went to a live game, and it was the most amazing thing ever. So, yeah, it would be, man. I've seen videos like of Wayne Rooney. You know, I want to go to a Celtics game, man. <laughs> I want to go to one of those Celtics um, <laughs> that get bashed by fucking hooligans. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Who else is there? I think we got everyone, haven't we? That's real. Uh, <laughs> skip me for it. Yeah, I don't. I don't really do sports or watching. So come on, no. that's all good. Yeah, I'm done. Come on. <laughs>
I would say I'm not a sports person anymore. Like, I don't follow any sports anymore, but my favourite team was Man United, but I've moved on. <laughs> uh, Dub's Dub still there, can you hear us? I think he's, he hasn't he's just... spoken since he has returned. Nah, he's just, he's just being a bastard and ignoring us. Screw you, Dubba! Screw you! <laughs> oh, I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> 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 nah, like, uh, my computer... Like just randomly shut down when the storm kicked up outside. Oh, not that. <laughs> so I had to restart my computer again. Oh, that was quick. You and your buddy fancy yeah. computer. SSD. <laughs> SSD, mate. But no, nah, I, I, I don't have like yeah. a favorite sports team. I have to say that. I do have a favorite sport, but rugby. Which, nah, rugby is number two. My favorite sport is mixed, ma uh, mixed martial arts. Oh yeah, yeah. It, okay. Like, people. People think it's just hitting each other and stuff, but there's actually yeah. an art to it, there's technique to it. Yeah. You have to put in a lot of hard work and training, you have to get your physique up to it. There's a lot of molding to how to become like a top fighter. And it's just not brutality. Like people I think MMA is awesome, man. Yeah, is if anyone really wants cool. to see something like absolutely awesome, just watch the women's championship. <laughs> it's, a, it's a title fight for UFC. Oh, God. And like no, I mean there are a lot of people, obviously in the gaming community, of course, you get you see a lot of the comments saying, you know, like go back to the kitchen. <laughs> I, was, well, I, I, I knew you were gonna say that. I knew. Uh, you know, <laughs> no, 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 that's not me saying. It. I'm not saying. It, but I'm saying like, Where's my sandwich? A lot of people say that, you know, and it's such like it's such a uh, like a way that they like the the online community treats women. But then you go watch the UFC title fights for the women, and that will fucking knock you out. <laughs> you see. Yeah. Um, uh, I forgot what her name was. She got an arm broken in an armbar and kept going in the fight. Absolutely Brutal. snapped clean. Yeah. You and, just uh, reminded me of um, what's his name? What was his name? God damn it! I don't know. You got his arm. Um, Anderson okay. Silva. No. Yeah. <laughs> just named the most famous MMA guy that I know. <laughs> he, he, like, he he pulled off a victory. He also about a month later he had his shoulder dislocated, and um. A jumping armbar, and he still managed to win. He slammed the dude on the ground and beat the crap out of him. Yeah, man, they're just. So it's just, it's just not physical. It's also mental training, um, withstanding pain and stuff. It's just a great sport. It's just more than to just brutality and smashing well, yeah. people. The ground grapples and shit. That's insane. Oh, yeah, it's insane. Um, I've but, yeah. I've been to an MMA um like like live like cause I, I've got friends who actually own a cage, so they always host um events, <laughs> and um. A friend, like I, I, I didn't really know him. It was more of the, the friend's friend. Um, he, he was preparing for this fight for ages. Like, like he used to like train stuff and all. Like, oh, of course he trained. But like he trained. Like I, I used to see him training stuff at, at um, my mate's house because he was also a coach. And you know, and um, he was he was he was prepared for this fight for ages. And um, he got knocked out in the first five seconds. <laughs> Poor oh. bastard. Oh. He just like That's he just right. lunged at him, and the guys went bang, straight knockout. You, you just. You just reminded me of a sad moment I remember. Did you get knocked out? Anderson That's... Silva, if you guys <laughs> no. hear about that. No. no! I haven't been knocked out in the ring yet. But no, Anderson Ooh. Silva. <laughs> <laughs> the, the greatest fighter of MMA history got knocked the fuck out. One of the greatest. If you guys missed it. Anderson Silva. That sounds familiar, actually. How did you not see that? I think I've heard of that. Oh, that was, that was, like, that was a couple of weeks ago. We, we, yeah, we, we, he got knocked out. I was yeah, surprised. but that was because he was being a he was being a cocky dude. dude. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> got clipped. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know. We, we could talk for ages about UFC, but yeah. Anyway, I think need to do I that. think that is a uh, good for the podcast. We've it's gone for an hour and almost fifteen minutes, um, <laughs> and we've gone through about thirteen questions. No, no less actually, because we skipped a few. <laughs> so it's like ten questions plus, in an hour and a... plus random subject. Oh yeah, it's true. Yeah, so um. Thank you all for joining. Uh, thank you, Game Deuce, the Real Beliefs, um, Snowhood, Marcus, and uh, Mr. Dubs. And um, the next podcast will be on Dubs' channel, so make sure you subscribe to him. And subscribe to everyone here. We're all lovely blokes. And Links all down in the description. <laughs> it'll, it'll be on the screen as well throughout the whole video. You can click them, click, smash it. And yeah, so big, big, big thanks, guys, for joining. I really appreciate it. You've put your time into talk random shit with us and it's been awesome <laughs> um, thank you yeah. and we hope to see you Excellent. hope to see you again soon and again if you can think of a name for this bloody podcast feel free to drop it down I'm absolutely clueless um, <laughs> um, probably okay. no no look look, look it's, it stands for commentator and then podcast you see so com, comcast I like that actually yeah. oh. what do you think guys 
Dro drop down a comment. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. We'll see you next time yeah. on a. Uh, yeah, we'll see you with the next uh, possibly Comcast. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you later. Right, Room two in ten days. Later. <laughs> I just said.